Hi, this is Ken Okel. This is the follow-up video that I talked about. This is related to my presentation to the Florida Speakers Association, which is also online. What I try to do whenever I speak at a meeting is I do a post-meeting video. This is a great chance to follow up on any points that maybe you didn't have time to get to. Also, there may be some audience questions that were asked when you were done with your session that you want to answer. So here goes. So I encourage you to model this type of behavior. One of the questions I got was about when do you decide to learn how to edit your video or when do you pay an editor? You really need to assess your skills. Do you have a certain amount of patience for learning something new? Do you have time to learn to do something new? If you're still not sure, here's a couple tips. Go to YouTube and look at editing programs like Windows Movie Maker or iMovie. There's tons of tutorials on there. Watch some of the tutorials. If it just seems totally foreign to you and something you're never gonna get, maybe you should work with an editor. Also, if you're on the Apple side of the world, go to the Apple store. They have periodically free classes on how to use iMovie. So this is a great chance. You don't have to have a Mac or even have iMovie at the time. You can go in, register, sit in the class, see again if it all seems to make sense to you. It's great to have these tools, but you wanna make sure if you're gonna buy them, that you're gonna use them. So keep that in mind. Next question dealt with if you've shot your whole presentation, do you just put that big thing up on YouTube or do you cut it up? First, I'm not sure about your YouTube profile. A lot of people have on their YouTube profile a 15 minute time limit, or it's a size limit, but that's right around 15 minutes as well. So that may cap at how long it can be, but this is what I often will do. If I have a talk that I really want to share with the world, I might put up the whole thing, but I'll also put up lots of little chunks from it. So I'll take two, three minute sections, post each one up individually onto YouTube. I find this works really well. The search engines have more stuff to find and people often like to consume information in bite-sized chunks instead of maybe sitting for a 30, 45 hour long talk. That's a larger time commitment. Plus, you wanna maybe have these clips be like the, the meat of your presentation or the best of the best. So out of an hour talk, you might be able to get five really good, let's say three minute clips. So consider that as a possibility. Final question relates to memorization. I am not a good memorizer. So what I'll often do when I'm recording these videos in my home is underneath the camera lens, I might put a little post-it note and just put a few key words. I'm not good at keeping all the words in my mind, but if I have those key words there, it'll trigger off, oh yeah, this is what I need to talk about. Sometimes when you're kind of ad-libbing, you're gonna put in a few words that fill up space, sometimes mine or I'll go, now or so or kind of you try to clean those up a little bit but i find my delivery is much more natural when i'm just kind of in the moment and talking rather than reading off a page or spending hours trying to memorize some of my copy final thought remember a lot of people nowadays go to youtube when they're looking for speakers Google is still a place you want to have a very good presence, and yes, YouTube is part of Google, but the video is one of the biggest tools you can have for having people find you. So make sure you're putting up clips that talk about you and your expertise and what you can bring to a meeting. So I hope this little clip helped. Final note I wanted to give you, this might be my second final note, I forget what I said before. I wanted to give a big thank you to Rita Craig, our incoming president. Rita and I have worked together before, and she gave me a special hat, which I will put on right here. Oh, it looks really nice in the video. This is a traffic signal which relates into my new book, Stuck on Yellow. So I just wanna thank her for her thoughtfulness, and I think this is really fashionable. This may be a hat that goes out to the presentations, and guess what? It doesn't seem to mess up my hair too much, an added bonus. Anyway, I'm Ken Okel, take care.